What happened? <clears throat> huh? All right, don't incriminate yourself. I'm live right now. Okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yo, what's good, y'all? No mercy here. Trap New York shit. No mercy TV.com. Y'all already know what time it is, man. You know, um, I'm about to start doing this nightly uh live thing. You feel what I'm saying? My my schedule done, you know, changed around a little bit. And now I'm back with the, you know, with the normal people. So, you know, we got some stuff to talk about tonight. First of all, J. Cole, no, no, get out of here. Get out of here. On on the Lord's Day, you decided to do a show and you sent up here apologizing, bro. No, 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 no. Before you walk in, please hit the like button, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Make sure you share the stream tool. It's greatly appreciated. It goes a long way. But, son, we're going to talk about this J. Cole apologize. Like, we don't do that around here. You understand what I'm saying? Like, Cole, you from North Carolina, but you went to college at, um, I think he went to college at St. John's because he, he knew a couple of my peoples that went there, right? So you done spent enough time in NYC. You got the landlord that you rapped about, um, Muhammad, that actually was my supervisor at a job for eight years. So, you know, I've, um, you know, done seeing all his, his texts back and forth with J. Cole and blah, blah, blah. like, I actually know the guy. You feel what I'm saying? So I listen, hey, big man, you got to relax. Okay. You got to relax. We're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. Right. So Kendrick and Drake, right. They've been subliminally dissing each other for the past 10 years now. You feel me? This is more than 10 years, actually, because this goes back to when they first all got lit. You feel me? Back like 2011, 2012. They've always been doing a salute to the chat. Salute to the chat. Queen T, what up? Derwin was good. Pixie, we here. Style, what up? What up, everybody? Um, So, yeah. They've been dissing each other for over 10 years now, subliminally. Kendrick and Drake. Right, they do uh Kendrick and no Cole and Drake do first person shooter, right? Which I guess you know a couple of people felt like it was a couple of shots at Kendrick or you know whatever the talk is. Cool, right? Kendrick jumps on the future uh album, right? He got a feature verse on future record going stupid crazy, you know. What I mean, um, that verse was just out of this world, he's talking crazy, taking shots. At both Cole and Drake. Pardon if y'all hear um Little Man in the background. He's kind of uh extra excited right now that daddy's home. You feel what I'm saying? But um, yeah. Uh Kendrick dropped his verse on the future uh joint, right? So we like, okay, who gonna jump out the window first? It's gonna be Cole, it's gonna be Drake. Like, which one of y'all is gonna be, you know, out here first? Salute JJJ J unit, what up? Blunt feelings, what up? Castro, what up? We like, yo, who gonna jump out the window first, right? We waiting, we waiting, we waiting, we're waiting. Uh, you know, Cole drops a surprise album, might delete later, right? Now, I'm listening to this album, album is fire. You feel me? Fire. Every record on this project is fire. Now, before we get to the last song, right, Seven Minute Drill, where he actually, you know, goes at Kendrick. There was a couple of records on there where he was taking a couple of shots at Kendrick. Like, it was a couple of stuff that um, seemed subliminal. It was a couple of, you know, niggas can't fuck with me. And, you know, a couple of little sly subliminals that was like, okay, this could be just regular rapper talk, but it's also like considering the climate and what's going on now, these also could be Kendrick shots, right? That's what I'm thinking as I'm listening to this project. Fire Project, every single song, fire. Perfect 12 out of 12. We don't get a lot of projects like that. Um, I'm not going to call it a classic, but it was a great project. Over time, who knows what you might, you know, grow to think it is, but I gave this joint at least three spins since it's been out. This is a fire project. I was excited to hear this from Cole because Cole is usually boring as hell. I'm sorry. That's just my personal opinion on J. Cole. I think he's boring. He puts you to sleep. All of the 
uh mellow dramatic like he does a lot of that that's just like ah you feel me even him calling kendrick was like pot calling kettle you know we call kendrick boring but this one um it's it it gave me kod vibes you feel me kod was not a boring album that was cold you know rapping for real for real none of that melodic um harmonizing all that kind of bullshit like just cold going in and just rapping like that's what i like to hear from him you know so mike delete later gave me that and then at the end of it seven minute drill is when he finally goes in and starts to take shots at kennedy now this is the thing with what he said on seven minute drill he's talking about your first album classic second album trash it or whatever the case was y'all know what the ball was right now I didn't agree with what he said. You feel me? Like to call, um, I think he called it the pimp a butterfly trash or whatever the case was. And I'm like, uh, no, this album wasn't trash, but because you decide to go jump in the ring, I love this records. I love battle rap. I love, you know, when it's direct competition in rap. Okay. I'm with you. Okay. I might not agree with what you did, but <laughs> I'm with you on this one. You feel me? I'm with you throwing your hat in the ring. Right. You're jumping in the ring. You're engaging in the fisticuffs. Cool. Let's get it. 48 hours later. No. Might be. It's between 48 and 72 because it dropped Friday morning. The apology happened Sunday night. So it's in, in that, you know, three-day window or whatever. Before the weekend was out, Right. You dropped on Friday to kick the weekend off. Before the weekend was out, before it was 12 o'clock midnight, like before the weekend was fully done, right? Um, Kendrick hadn't even responded, and you're on stage talking this apology shit. Oh, I, I only did it because my my peoples was hitting me up saying, oh, it's wartime. What you going to do? And blah, blah, blah. And then, oh, I don't even believe what I said and blah, blah. And it's like, yo... You actually had some people agreeing with the stuff that you were saying. You had some people agreeing that old oh, Pimple Butterfly wasn't good or whatever the case was, that all these people supporting that bullshit. And then come to find out, you don't even believe it. What are we doing here? You understand? What are we doing here? You can't put something out and then you say you don't believe it. You understand what I'm saying? Then you got you, you know, you're leading the charge. You got all these people talking crazy and blah blah blah. And then come to find out you don't even believe the stuff that you're saying. You understand? So you're talking about, oh, you apologize, and if Kendrick wants, you'll take one on the chin, like you're posing like you're on a crucifix or something. Like, bro, no, no, that's not rat beef. That's not how we do this thing right here. You understand? I'm a fan of rat beef. Like, I had street wars, P cutter. The mixtapes, volume one through 20 something. You understand? Had the physical CDs. That's what I was into. Like, you can't diss a man back as a response and then apologize. You, a person can't walk up to you and punch you, right? You slap them, right? Because you ain't give an equal response. You gave a light little love tap, right? So you smack them back. And then you apologize and like, look, bro, my bad for slapping you. That it wasn't in my spirit. I shouldn't have. What? This man just punched you. And you apologizing for slapping him back? We're not doing that, Kendrick. No. That is the softest, most light-skinned DJ envy, DJ drama bullshit. I mean, excuse me, the... We're not doing this cold. I don't know why I keep getting it mixed up. We're not doing this cold. That is the most light-skinned DJ Envy, DJ Drama, Drake, uh, I don't know who else, Chico DeBarge, uh, Shamar Moore, Jesse Williams. Like, this is that light-skinned area shenanigans. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, no, we're not doing that, bro. We're not doing that. None of my favorite rappers have ever gotten a rap beef and apologized. 50 Cent never apologized. Eminem never apologized. DMX never apologized. Nas never apologized. I was going to say Jay-Z never apologized, but he actually did, even though it was a year later and like 10 people heard it. You know, when he called up Hot 97, was like, yo, his mother, his mother made him apologize. And he apologized for Super Ugly. You understand? Super Ugly was a 
oh man, that was a disrespectful diss record. That's the type of stuff that actually might be worth apologizing over. That little, your album whack. Like, you damn near sound like a troll. Like, you know, trolls get online, they call somebody album whack, and then it's two minutes later, when the whole uh, site is getting on them, oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have called the album whack. Like, that's what you basically did. You feel what I'm saying? So it was like, nah, come on. That that was some of the softest shit ever. You feel me? And I'm not, I'm not respecting that. I'm not respecting that. Like this whole 2010s era rappers that y'all was claiming was supposed to be the new guys to take over the legends and was supposed to dethrone everybody and shit like that. Uh-uh. Nope. Not happening because one, these niggas ain't writing their own raps. You understand? Drake don't write his own raps. You feel me? We we know that for a fact. You get what I'm saying? I don't care that he writes for other people. I don't care that he wrote big Rihanna records and big Beyonce records. I don't care about none of that. When it comes to being a lyricist, when it comes to being a part of hip hop, one of the main rules, you write your own raps. You understand? Drake is hereby disqualified from, he can do all the artist music shit he wants. That is cool. He is amazing at that. I'm never going to doubt that he's talented, but when it comes to that hip hop shit, he's disqualified for not writing his own raps. Sorry. Put Quentin Miller's name on. If you're reading this is too late. You understand? That's his work. So we not, you know, but then you got Cole, the man who apologized after a diss record. What are we doing here? These the guys you're supposed to put J. Cole over DMX. That that's one of the guys that's supposed to dethrone legends like that. Cole's supposed to dethrone Eminem and, and 50 Cent and all these other people. Hold on. Hold on. I'm getting the call. Mr. XL, sir. How do you how are you doing today? All right, I'm about to send you the link. I got you. All right. Uh-oh. 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 Smoke incoming. <laughs> Smoke incoming. Hold on. Hey, that was Excel that just called. He want the link. Y'all already know what's about to happen. Y'all already, I don't know what happened to Sly. Sly said he was going to let me know. But um, here go X. X. X about to pull up. You feel me? It's about to get, it's about to get dark. If Sly come here, y'all already know what's about to happen. So, you know, um, I guess impromptu, let's chop this favorite episode. You get what I'm saying? But nah, nah, we not doing that, gang. We not doing that. We not dissing niggas and apologizing, man. You know what I mean, if you on my book, you 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 see. Oh, <laughs> look at the name. The name is crazy. Up, man? I'm sorry, yo. I just want to put out a public <laughs> service announcement, right? To all the battlers that I've ever battled, if I. Oh man, yo, ex, you your internet spotty. Your internet crazy. You you froze. You froze up. You froze up. Pause. Go out and come back in. Cause your joint just uh your joint froze. You in the matrix right now. You in the matrix right now. Go out and come back in. Cause you you straight up froze. I'm good. I don't now. know if you can still you hear me. Yeah yeah yeah. You good? You good? Listen to all the battlers that I ever battled. Right. Let's get it. If if I ever said something that made you feel away, you know, or I got reaction too much reaction. I'm sorry. Them words didn't sit right. <laughs> it's not sitting right in my spirit that I. Disparage one of my brothers, you know what I mean? So you you do three oh daylight. You apologize for that? Daylight, I'm sorry. <laughs> Devon Campbell, my brother, I'm sorry that I <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we love your work. We love your work. You're yeah. amazing. You're an amazing person. I should have never said those words to you. I'm sorry. Look, do you apologize for getting robbed on UFF? Oh, to Anubis, I'm sorry, Anubis, that I said those disparaging things on national TV. I should have never said any of that. I should have lifted you up as a black man, as a brother, <laughs> as a king. Yo, X, what are we doing with this? This these people, man? Like, what are we doing with this shit. era of hip-hop? Hip-hop is in the shitter. This shit is old. Hip is done. Hip-hop is done. <laughs> this, the hip-hop we know is done. That shit no. is over with, sir. That was sad, man. It's that was sad. <laughs> he said, "Apologize to Award." Oh, Award, I apologize. You are a brother of Christ, so I should have never said any of those words to you. You are a follower <laughs> of Jesus, White Jesus, so I should have never, I should have never said anything to disparage White Jesus. He got to apologize to Loso too. Oh, Lo, Lo, both of y'all, all the whole, 
horsemen. I apologize to you guys for disparaging white Jesus. I should have never said that. Oh, yeah, you smoke like three of them. <laughs> so to the whole horseman camp, I'm sorry for disparaging white Jesus and your religion. Your religion is great. Communion every first Sunday. You are excellent. Son. I should have lift, lifted y'all up in prayer. Why are battle rappers co-signing J. Cole apologizing? Because battle like, rappers want pussy. Hold on. Because I don't think all of my all of the chat knows this. We were on Facebook today, weren't we, X? And we were yeah. seeing battle rap people in the not just battle rappers, but people in the battle rap community were co-signing J. Cole apologizing. Because I'll tell you I'll tell you exactly. I seen B Magic. Even though he's not a super disrespectful battle rapper, but you're a battle rapper. You done threatened you, to kill a couple people, aunties, and blah, blah, blah. Like, I'll tell you what why. are you doing? Because everybody wants to do be this fake, mature, enlightened being nigga. And then they see all of the women saying, oh, let J. Cole have his feelings. And oh, blah, 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 blah. So they want pussy. So they, so they, they go with that. Let me tell you something. I seen a woman post something like that today, and I just posted a gif of a kitchen. Let me tell. Let me tell you something. Here's, here's what I'm <laughs> because, say. like, no, we're not here's doing that. Say. Ladies, all the ladies watching this, the ladies around, when it's war time, it's not time for y'all. It's not time for spiritual enlightenment. It's not time for emotional intelligence. It's not time for any of that. We love the ladies, and we love y'all. But here's the thing. If a bunch of ladies are saying that a nigga did something that's manly, it's not manly. I'm just going to keep it a thousand with you. There's no fuck. But, but what? Hold on, hold on, he got hold on, this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, the J stand for Jello, Jello Code. That's his name. Hold on, hold on. I see some people call him Jennifer. Brizzy, Brizzy, Brizzy. If you don't want fuck shit, why do you watch battle rap? Huh? This is this is the contradiction. Why don't you? Why do you watch battle rap? We <laughs> actually taking his place in big dude, yeah, crazy. Listen, mercy. See how he said he don't want fuck shit. Why do you watch battle rap? We say ten thousand times worse things to each other in front of each other's faces, right? And then dap each other up and go drink at the bar. These two niggas is friends. They exchanged diss songs, which was trash. Right? Nah, T, that, that wasn't at every woman. That was just a specific one that I that I had seen. It's a bunch of women right now. The, <laughs> the, the ones that burn sage and hold crystals and think this eclipse gave them superpowers. Them shorties. It's like the, the emotional intelligence of listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm listen to what I'm saying and hear hear me and hear me good. It is a rap battle. This rap battle is the safest rap battle. To ever exist. You heard? Facts. Nobody was going to die. Nobody was going to get shot. Nobody was going to get beat up. Niggas' shirts wasn't even going to get wrinkled. Niggas was just A grain of crack. rice wouldn't have been thrown over this rat beef. All of the OG niggas was happy because we were like, word, we get to see niggas beef without niggas dying because the drill niggas don't know how to rat beef without spinning and killing. Exactly. This was the safest rap beef you was ever going to get. Not a punch was going to be thrown. Not, not a punch was going to be... Who? What? They, they can't pit no coasts against each other. Not, this is not dumb. Biggie and Pac. No, Brizzy, something. come on. We not Brizzy, doing that. Brizzy, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Yo, Brizzy, I'm he got to be trolling. Brizzy, you're Potentially trolling. the you next Biggie and Pac. Go I got to be trolling. <laughs> one. One. Kendrick, no, he, I can't believe he said that bullshit. Kendrick be around real goons. Kendrick, Kendrick be around real goons, but they all know what Kendrick does, right? Cole might have some goons. That's not East Coast, right. West Coast nigga. Cole's from North Carolina. East Coast niggas ain't moving on the strength of a nigga from North Carolina that rides at, at 10 all. speed. A nigga that rides at 10 speed's going to get the goons for Kenny? A Kung 10 Fu speed Kenny? in Central Park at that. What the fuck? What are you talking about, dog? We fucking over sensationalize these rap niggas. Bro, Kendrick did not drop hit him Nobody. up. Cole did not drop who shot you. <laughs> like, let me tell you this something. is a let far different something. rap. The East track. Coast don't fuck. The East Coast niggas that fuck with Cole are like Joey Badass and shit like that. The, 
I've never yeah. been. In the, I've never been in the hood, in the streets, in any trap house, on any block, any corner around any niggas that move anything in the hood. And they said throw that J Cole on. Yeah, Lux O Calico and apology. You heard Mercy, <laughs> Troy. Nah, that's a fact. Troy, Troy, you my nigga. Nigga, I never been in no trenches nowhere where niggas actually do things and they say, yo, put that J. Cole on. <laughs> Kendrick, yeah, yeah. a lot of niggas apologies. <laughs> Kendrick, the West Coast rides with Cap with Kendrick. Yes, because he was the first one. He was the one. He's their king. But right. niggas going crazy over no fucking rap. They every if every Ken J. Cole is a nigga you punch and don't get no points for. Right. J. Cole right. is a nigga, like, if you beat him up He's in the actually hood, the dude you beat him up, and the whole school will probably beat you up because, like, why you beat yeah, up Yeah, why'd you beat up Cole? He don't do nothing. This nigga just play basketball. Why'd you beat him yeah. up? Yeah. What are we talking about? This nigga played, like, what are we talking about? Yo, my, my homie, like, one of my closest friends that I named my son after, he played ball with uh, Cole in school when Cole was going to St. John's. Like, he actually knows him. You feel me? Like, this was going to be a very safe... Rat beef. <laughs> it's like punching Drake. Like, you don't come on, my nigga. All right, these days you might get some points for punching Drake because he oh, talks like a me, tough guy. Let me tell you something, No Mercy. J. Cole has songs about folding clothes and losing his virginity in his discography. And you gonna tell me this nigga's gonna mobilize the goons? All right, he, he's not Carter Deans. We're not doing that. <laughs> what the fuck? Cole not he, that uh, so. What are we, he might as well be. Damn. You heard what I said? I folding said, clothes and losing his virginity is crazy. He raps about folding clothes and losing his virginity and bitches. He's going to mobilize the goons, bro. That that wasn't going to be that. Nigga, no his way, big man. homie is Hove. That's the nigga that can mobilize the goons. Hove ain't even mobilizing goons no more. Man. Y'all niggas is over hyping these rappers these are not street niggas cole went to college these are not street dudes nigga. none of the yeah. niggas that run with cole and dreamville earth gang and jid none of them niggas is street niggas. right not this one was of gonna them. be this wasn't gonna be no kendrick, way no. Kend, that's what i really think why niggas won't say nothing to kendrick because kendrick's really tapped into the hood so he can he got niggas that will go there if it has to go there but at the end of the day, nigga, it's niggas ain't and niggas. J Cole, Kendrick, and Drake are almost forty years old. Let's just be for real. I'm thirty seven. Right. I'm thirty eight. So them niggas, Drake is a year um, older than me. He's thirty nine. Kendrick's thirty eight. Right. J Cole's thirty seven. These niggas are forty years old. Right. They're not gonna. They're not young kids. That's about to mobilize the goons over stupid shit. These are forty not year old all. men, nigga. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> These are forty-year-old men that don't know how to execute. That don't know how to execute a rap beef. This is crazy. Are you kidding? This is me? crazy. Are you stupid? These niggas is talking like it's Fifty Cent and Fat Joe. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> if that actually got real, <laughs> if that got real, that would have shut New York down. That was actually real. You talking about? You know about what happened? Them niggas clicked up and said, nah, nigga, we ain't going to beef because if we beef, a lot of bodies is going to drop and that's not what we want. That's that's what, that's real nigga shit. This shit that comes right. Kendrick Lamar and fucking Jake, man, they're going to East Coast, West Coast. Shut the fuck up. Pac and Biggie <laughs> didn't even have, wasn't even trying to kill each other like that. The media made it like that. Right. Pac and Biggie wasn't. They were just trying to get their issue. Pac told Biggie at the fucking... MTV Awards, I'm just trying to sell records. Right. This shit yeah. is gay, dog. This rap is, yeah. hip hop is done as we know it because now everybody has a platform. Like, Leo, you know, you know how I always used to say, like, nah, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I think Drake, I think Cole sent him a text, like, yo. Project dropping Friday. I'm about to, you know, take my shots. And I think Drake fell back because he was Listen, letting Cole album breathe. Let me we tell probably you still about to get. We, no, we are getting the Drake response. Matter of fact, um, he did academic. Um, DM him, man. He was like, "Yo, let me, let me tell you something, Mercy. Guess what? 
even if Drake wasn't going to respond, he has to now. Right. Because the nigga that I was in the car with jumped out the fucking car. Yeah, it is dope. Let me out. Doe, let me, like, what are we talking about? This nigga, we, <laughs> niggas is talking, dog. Let me tell you something, yo. Like, what is niggas, like, remember how I always used to say we need to gatekeep more? Right. This is perfect evidence that hip-hop lets too, let too many nerds in the fucking shit. Right. I'm gonna fuck, I don't give a fuck what you say. I don't give a fuck how you slice it. This J. Cole shit is perfect evidence that hip-hop let too many nerd-ass, non-street niggas in it. Because now... Listen, I'm, about, I'm about to play something, y'all. I'm, I might have to uh, <laughs> edit this out when it goes up, but we're going to play this for y'all right now. This is what happened. Like the tough nigga, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, what are we saying, dog? Like, yo, they could potentially, nigga, shut yo. We need to, we need to, yo. This should be a call to arms for all the OG niggas and niggas that really love hip hop. We need to start right. gatekeeping. We need to kick the fucking nerds out of it, and we need to everybody on Twitter with they think pieces and all that shit. Get the fuck right. out of here. This is an exchange of words. Facts. If niggas can't rap, if you run around for three years, you calling yourself the best. I cook any nigga. I've been waiting for a nigga to step up. Let a nigga try me. Blah da 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 da. A nigga tries you. Yep. Yeah. And it was a whole bunch of I'm the best on that Mike Delete Later album. A now, whole bunch now, of that niggas can't fuck with me and all that. He was talking now, all that. Nigga, he said it on Benny feature. He says it on every song. He's on with another rapper. Yeah. He he I'm always the, says that matter of fact that he 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 the best. I'm the best blah, rapper blah, blah. out of everybody. I'm the best rapper. I'm the best rapper. I'm the best rapper. So Kendrick says, "Hey nigga, wake up, nigga. I'm here to see about that best rapper shit. What's up? <laughs> oh nah, don't it don't sit right in my spirit today. Uh, now you want to talk about spirits? Come on, man." If it wasn't even, in, even, look, even angry fan got slapped and was ready to fight. <laughs> dog, listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying, bro. Get out the cash. <laughs> listen to what I'm saying, bro. This is what I'm saying. If it didn't sit right in your spirit, you should have never said nothing in the fucking beginning. Facts. That means you are 40 years old and you let niggas peer pressure you. Right. That's even worse. You could here's what he could have did. Not said shit. And then when people asked him, yo, why didn't you say shit? He could have played it like, yo, I'm not going to say nothing because most of them bars he had was for Drake anyway. So I'm going to let them two niggas handle the fuck they got to handle. That niggas would have respected that. Like, all right, cool. That's because most of that verse that Kendrick rapped is for Drake. We all know that. Right. Cole just caught it straight because he was standing next to the nigga. Right. That's all. That's he could have just been like, Kendrick, my man. I, I respect that nigga. He 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 took a shot at me. I was standing next to somebody he don't fuck with. Whatever. Right. That, that's my Cole, Cole could have he, he could have wrapped that as his response on some yo, I ain't got time for the fuck shit. I I, I ain't dissing, I ain't yeah, beefing my brother. Yeah, I'm not dissing. I see you, I see you, I see you got at me because you said cause I'm with Drake. I, I did the joint with Drake. I yo. This shit yeah. right here. He could have just did that. Hip hop is done, bro. Like the hip hop we know is done. The hip hop where yeah. niggas actually actually cared about right. being no nice, no cared about being the best rapper, and would right go hard to fucking do that shit. That shit is over, dog. Listen, all that go talk. I'm sorry, Cole is out of it. it in, in order to be, in order Cole to be a never goat, be the goat of nothing. Yeah, in order to be a goat, you have to when when it's head to head competition, you you can't fold. Even if you Cole, lose, you cannot fold. Cole can never be the GOAT of anything, bro. Nope. You know why? Nope. I just said this to somebody. You know why niggas respect Joe Budden so much? Because when wow. it was time to fucking rap battle, Joe Budden did his numbers. Every time. Every time. He ain't back down from shit. He did it. He Every did time. Jay-Z. G-Unit, Jay-Z, Ransom, Royce. Game. Boy, Eminem, Saigon, like killers, nigga. Prodigy. Prodigy. Jim Jones, he went at Jim, everybody. Jim Jones, Meek Mill. 
nigga, when Kendrick dropped his control, this verse, Drake. this Kendrick. Yeah. The fuck are we talking about, man? Like what? Yeah. And then nigga, Slaughterhouse was literally a bunch of niggas battling each other on beat. Nigga, that's how Slaughterhouse formed. Right. Slaughterhouse formed because Joe and Royce didn't like each other. Then they got, then they had a conversation. It was like, oh, let's do a track. And then Royce pulled Crooked, Crooked Eye in and Joe pulled Joel in. And that's how we got right. Slaughterhouse. But it started from them two niggas not having a rap feud and them two niggas not liking each other. Right. And it's all <laughs> on some rap shit. It wasn't no beef shit. I oh, think wasn't uh, those even... Even D12, I think they had a show and they took Royce and Joe Budden with them, like on tour or whatever. With them, nigga, right? it wasn't no, it wasn't no rap shit. It wasn't no beef like niggas is gonna kill each other. It was just bars like, I think this nigga trash or whatever. Right. I think he's not good or whatever the fucking case was. It wasn't no, oh, there wasn't no crazy shit like. Nah, Cam lost the mace. I'm sorry. When Mace dropped, even Oracle. Cam and Mace. <laughs> Oracle was crazy. Cam lost that they're, one, but he, but he got friends. 50, he got Nas, he got Jay. They're friends. And look at them now. Yeah. Look at these niggas now. Yeah. You, first of all, the Cam and May shit, you got a bunch of dead street niggas that got mentioned. Like, that was real. That actually could have been beef. And that didn't even go crazy. That could have been. That was smoke for real. Yeah. I don't understand, dog. I don't understand. Yeah, that that was that was that was bad work. Done. Y'all can never yeah. say nothing to me about nothing. When I start getting on my rants about my old school hip hop niggas, don't talk to me. Right. I don't want to hear about your goats. Yeah, she. <laughs> he said Mariah Carey body them and them. I think Mariah Laws, but she ain't apologized. <laughs> she didn't. She didn't apologize at all. So Cole softer than Mariah Carey then. Yeah, he's Cole softer than Cole softer than everybody, bro. Uh oh, it sounds like it's going down over there. Whatever happens, nah, don't apologize. It don't matter. I, I keep it rolling. Whatever's happening, we keep it rolling. <laughs> we don't cut the we don't cut the stream. We never cut the stream. <laughs> he said we don't edit nothing. We don't edit nothing. It's real. We just we just go. We just let it go. But yeah, like he he's. I never seen nothing like this, Marsh. I don't even know what to do. It, me, me neither. I know Cole is not a not, not a no goat list for me. Ever. He can't ever. He can't. You cannot fold during rap beef. Like that's the most direct co competitiveness that you're gonna get out of this shit. You no, fold? He, nah. he can't he can't be. He can't be the and you Why well, apologize if anybody thought it was mid anyway? Look, I tell you this. Even if people thought it was mid, they respected him for responding. They at least gave Dog, him. That. You can't. That was the, enough. That was enough that we was like, okay, we got you. You can't be the guy. You can't be the nigga running around here saying I'm the best. I'll smoke everybody. Get do all these fucking features talking about how you cook niggas. And then when it's then when a nigga steps up, that's a formidable opponent. Yeah, it's a lengthy process to get a song out. <laughs> yeah, you gotta upload it. You gotta put artwork. Yeah, like, you gotta do a whole bunch of things. You gonna do all this cookery, right? And then when a nigga steps up, nigga chefs back. Gordon Ramsay battles niggas. And, Yo, I got the best fucking steak in this. Oh no, I got the best steak. Them niggas lock in and steak off, nigga. Right. Like you can't say, "Yo, I'm the best in my. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best." I'm the be Dog, that's like me saying I'm the roughest, toughest nigga in the world. I'm the toughest nigga around. Ain't nobody more tough than me. I'm super tough. I'm tough, tough, tough. And then I get duffed in my mouth and I go, nah, my, I just want not in my spirit to fight you back. <laughs> what? Yeah. Are we for yeah. real? We Come on, man. We can't do that. That can't be a thing, nigga. Nah. That nah. can't be a fucking dog. No, Castro. Written. He said a steak off. He did not say a meat off. That's crazy. Yeah, I never said a meat off. Pause. <laughs> yo, <laughs> that's so deep. <laughs> yo, uh, yo, no freak time over there. That eclipse yeah, got him. That freaky. is some freak post. Yeah, mercy. That eclipse got him feeling zesty. 
I never said to meet you. I, cl- I was clear with my, as much as I paused people, I was clear with my words. I said, steak off, nigga. Yeah, well, I say meat off. Meat off sounds fucking sick, man. Dog, this nigga Cole, no. man. Cole let Nas down twice, man. We need Busy B to show J. Cole the ropes. Busy B, KRS One. We got we like we got Cole needs school. Nigga, nigga. And you can't make it a conscious rapper thing. Cause here I'll show, I'll give you a list of conscious Super rappers. Reason. Listen. You heard Mercy? What you up? can't say it's a conscious rapper thing, because I'll give you a list of conscious rappers. Conscious battle. rappers beef all the time. Nigga. Talib Kwali has rap has battled. Right. Common has battled. Right. Common got Ooh. a couple of battles under his belt. Common got a couple. Common battled Ice Cube when Ice Cube was the scariest nigga in the world. <laughs> he whooped Ice Cube, too. <laughs> whooped on the nigga. He battled Drake, too. Common battled. Look, Ice Cube had to go get Mac-10 and uh, Dub Yeah, he had to go get Westside <laughs> Connection because Common was going dummy on this nigga. Right? For real. Nas battled. Lupe Fiasco battled. Yep. He's all conscious niggas, dog. Lupe responded to Kendrick when Kendrick dropped control. Lupe, Lupe responded, responded to Royce and went bananas. Lupe responded to Royce in 15 minutes. Right. Royce said some shit. Lupe said, oh, well, I'm on your ass. Watch this. Nigga, Mickey Fax, battle. He cooked Royce. We watched him do it. Right. Live. I was, I was there for that whole display. Royce said, you don't do this on live, and he cooked that nigga. Right. Dog. Conscious niggas, nigga. I j- come on, my nigga. What are we talk? This is hip hop, nigga. No rapper leaves unscathed, nigga. Like all rappers who say they the best have to battle at some point. Definitely. Dmx done battled niggas. Ja Rule done battled niggas. Fifty right. Cent done battled. Fucking Nelly has battled niggas. Nelly. Nelly. E i e i uh oh has the battled. Nigga that people. makes party songs. Let me, yo, I'm going to keep it all the way real. Um, House of Pain, Jump Around is a diss song. It was dissing Chris Cross. I didn't know that. Yeah, nigga. It was Hold dissing up. Chris I, what? That's a diss song. That's why he says in the fucking first four balls, pack it up, pack it in. Let me begin. I came to win. Battle me. That's the sin. Talking to Chris Cross. Oh wow. I did not know that. That's crazy. Yeah, that's the it was dissing. Nigga, what the fuck are we talking about, man? Yeah, that's, what, <laughs> you know what I'm that's like, crazy. If Everlast is out here dissing niggas. Yeah. <laughs> J. Cole, you gonna you letting Everlast get more hip hop points to you, dog? Shit, Everlast diss Eminem, too. <laughs> Everlast diss anybody that say his name. <laughs> oh, my but God. <laughs> you letting, you understand what I'm saying? You're letting, nigga, Insane Clown Posse has diss niggas. Bow Wow versus Lil Romeo. <laughs> bro, bro. And they were kids. Bro, bro. Did you hear what I just said, bro? The Insane Clown Posse. The niggas that paint their face. Right. Has diss niggas, and they had a whole rap beef with Eminem. Listen, don't let Gracie's corner diss uh Coco Melon. Gracie not they apologizing might, for that. They might as well, my nigga. <laughs> you letting the insane clown posse have more rap stripes than you, J Cole? Yeah, that's crazy. Like what? Cat Williams got on the record in diss Dog. Young Guns before. Here's the thing. <laughs> yeah, niggas squash beef, right? Yeah, niggas do squash smoke over years, right? right? But they don't. Jay Z and Nas have squash beef. Jay Z, yeah, he apologized for the super ugly shit, but him apolog- he violated Nas. He said, "I fucked, in- I skidded in your Jeep and left condoms on your baby seat." Right. Right. Nah, Sly, he um he he probably got another stream coming um on his own channel. Right. Mercy. Yeah. He said, "I, I skidded in your Jeep." Left condoms on your bed. That's something that you apologize to a nigga for. My bad. I, Common my bad. did a response this record to Super Ugly. My bad, bro. I went to my bad. 
You feel me, bro? He, Jay was like, my fault. I was got too crazy. Got too crazy. My fault. Right. But that's the bar you tell a nigga, my bad. I was, I did too much. Right. Because you said right. you left condoms where his baby sleeps at. That's fucking wild. When when Beyonce did that song, Ring the Alarm, I was going for too long, but I'll be damned if I see another chick in your arm. She they said dissing. that was a diss to Rihanna. She was dissing, nigga. What are we talking about? Like, Jeez, even when niggas squash the beef, right? Even when niggas squash beef, niggas don't apologize for the records. Right? Oh, I'm about to look up pop star beef. Niggas don't. Niggas don't apologize for the songs. Come on, my nigga. Hov is not apologizing for Takeover. Nas is not apologizing for Ether. They don't perform it no more. It's just one of them things. It's understood. Yo, Cher had beef with Madonna. See what I'm saying? Do you understand? Dog, all of them singers had beef. Aretha <laughs> Franklin didn't like nobody. All of them old school singers and shit, they didn't like nobody. They beefed with everybody. Right. Like, bro. But you understand what I'm saying? Like, Jay Z not doesn't didn't apologize for Takeover. Nope. Nas didn't apologize for Ether. It was just understood. Actual right. Rose versus Slash. It was like, all right, we cool. I'm not gonna perform this song no mm -hmm. more. But I'm not about to apologize for the words I said. Nah, nigga, I felt that way at that time. Look, Courtney Love versus Dave Grohl. Yeah, I know who that is from Foo Fighters because they said she killed Kurt Cobain. John Lennon and Paul McCartney had beef. Mad niggas had beef and nobody apologized, bro. Hold on. We about to share this screen. I'm about to show y'all some, some other type of, you know what I mean? Like, J. Cole, you can't be doing this, bro. If these kind of people got smoke. Hold J. On. Cole, you took an L as a man, bro. All right. Swift and Kanye, we know about that one. As Lady, Gaga. Staff. Lady Gaga and Madonna. Bro, let me tell you something, J. Cole. J. Madonna Cole versus Elton John. Elton John is part of the community that he's a part of. Anything Elton John's apologizing to anybody for anything? Mariah Carey and J-Lo. J-Lo from the Bronx. We know she's not apologizing for nothing. Listen to what I'm saying, bro. J. Cole, you fucked up, bro. Bad. Miley Cyrus and Sinead O'Connor? Sinead O'Connor, yeah. Oh, okay, I, I, I butchered her name. Then. Sinead. Shout out to Ireland and shit. Nas versus Jay, obviously. Nikki and Remy. Nirvana versus Guns N' Roses. How did Nicki Minaj and Meg Thee Stallion have a better rap beef than J. Cole? And Solange. Now, that's a beef that actually got physical. Solange versus Jay-Z. Do you understand what I, do you hear what I just said? <laughs> what you said? How did Nicki Minaj and Meg Thee Stallion have a better rap beef than Kendrick and Cole? They damn sure did. And theirs wasn't even all that. Taylor Swift versus Katy Perry. It wasn't supposed to be. The Aaron Rihanna, I didn't know that was. This shit is gay. Jack White versus the Black Keys. J. Cole, you fucked up, big dog. <laughs> Lil' Kim versus Foxy Brown, of course. Your next album, nobody's listening to that shit. Oh, no, I, I'm, I'm going to listen. It's called The Fall Off. So, look, he's going to have to address everybody that made a blog about him. <laughs> Listen to me. Yo. J. Cole, everybody knows I work. I'm a trainer and shit like that. So when I'm working, I put my phone on shuffle. Has a rapper ever apologized on stage before? No. I don't think so. <laughs> Listen, so I put my phone Everyone on shuffle. Everyone just dies effects. <laughs> I put my phone on shuffle, right? Prince and Rick James had beef? Yeah. Prince and Michael Jackson had beef too. Yeah, that, I seen that one. Um, somebody put that Michael too. Jackson wanted Prince to play in his video bad, and Prince was like, "Nah, because you're not singing. Your butt is mine to me. I'm not gonna do that." <laughs> That's crazy. What the fuck you think I am? <laughs> that is wild. <laughs> that ass. The, Eating the while world? streaming is nasty work. Justin Poole, go away. <laughs> Show your face. Listen, this no XL is, but we don't have no rules for these streams. We do what we want around here. You probably J. Cole's old brother, nigga. Right, that's probably J. J. Cole on a burner account. <laughs> Fuck out of here. This could be you. You take the P in the O off. You put a C there, then you got the nigga, Justin. And I'm eating yeah, candy, that's probably nigga. J. Cole. 
And I'm eating fucking candy. Nigga said it like I was eating fucking. Like hey, I had Cole, stop fucking... trolling and go uh, uh, write another diss rap. Nigga said it like I was eating a turkey leg or something. Nigga, I'm eating candy. <laughs> right. What the fuck is wrong with you? We definitely putting Charlemagne over J. Cole because Charlemagne never apologized. All the people he done pissed off, Fredro Starr, Birdman. And Wendy Lowe Williams Lama. over J. Cole. Mad niggas. Everybody's over J. Cole. Right. Like, so my thing is this. What happens next? Does does Kendrick back off or Listen, does this add Kendrick, fuel to if, his fight? If fight? I'm Kendrick Lamar, here's what I do. I sample his apology and cook. <laughs> I sample his apology and make a seven-minute song saying none of you niggas can fuck with me. And his, his apology is the hook. Yeah, that that twenty one savage calling six nine a rat, and he dragged Morgan Freeman into it. I, Morgan Freeman at that point got more stripes than Jake Cole. You heard Mercy? If I'm Kendrick Lamar, that's what I'm doing. I'm sampling his, uh, the apology, apology, and I'm making, I'm cooking, and J. Cole's apology is gonna be the song. Listen, <laughs> that'll be crazy. <laughs> Why not? He got to still diss Drake too, Queen T. You're hundred percent right. He still he still got to get Drake. We, he he, he got to wait for Drake to respond though. But in terms of this, cold yeah, Kendrick's shit, waiting for. That's what I think. I think Kendrick's really waiting for Drake. He really wants Drake to say something. J Cole caught the stray because J Cole standing next to the nigga. J Cole just jumped out and did stupid shit. Now right. he backed Drake into a corner. Drake has to respond to this nigga because it's like dog. We was riding together. And now you just hopped out the whip when this, this shit got crazy. Right. So what they saying is um Drake actually responded to uh academics DMing um DMing him like yo uh don't apologize like this or whatever and Drake was on some like yo you must not know me like oh Drake's not apologizing me better not Drake done Drake done one thing about Drake he's battle tested he battled common meek male right. push the Drake got uh, Kanye Drake ain't apologizing that's just, but he's not doing that. Here's the funny thing. Drake was beefing back when he was on, just on MySpace. He was beefing with another Toronto rapper, uh, Toronto yeah. rapper. Drake's not apologizing. Drake's going to yeah. drop some shit. He's going to have some shit in the top. He's probably going to take a second because of the fact that all these niggas clicked up and now they don't like him. Drake's, look, Academic said, I sent the video of what this fuck nigga did. I said, please don't do no shit like this. Please don't apologize and do no weird shit. Drake said, I can't fucking believe you will pull up and say some shit like that to me. You must not know me. Yeah. So yeah, we're getting we're getting a Drake response. We're and definitely if we getting. don't, <laughs> and if we don't, you know we're not getting a Drake apology. We're definitely not getting a Drake apology. Like I said, man. It Only thing Drake ever apologized for was that stupid ass blackface picture, and, and he had to apologize for that. Yeah, because that was fucked up. That was out, that was out of pocket. <laughs> yeah, I like, know why no he context, did it, but that looked crazy. It looked crazy, but yeah, Drake, you fucked up, big dog. I mean, J Cole, you fucked up. I'm about to get out of here. It you right. fucked up. It's a bad situation. Whenever Drake looks like the tough nigga out the crew, J Cole, you can never be the goat. Just yeah, that thing over. Just leave now. Leave hip hop. You gotta go. That thing over. That thing over. Nah, ex, I, I appreciate you pulling up. Just so y'all know, this is this is how me and X phone conversations be going. Like this yeah, is this why is we normal. do this. How we do this. Normal. <laughs> this is regular shit. You know so I mean? yeah, bro. I holler at you. All right, man. Stay up. No I'll apologizing. <laughs> Yo, salute to my dog X, man. Salute to X pulling up. You know what I mean. Let, letting y'all uh know his his take on anything. Um, I also I try to get Mickey Fax too, but he's kind of busy right now. So, but I, I I was trying to see if he could pull up because you know he, Mickey Fax that's definitely somebody that when I do live streams about like hip hop shit, I want to bring him into it because he's one of the few opinions in hip hop that I respect. You feel me? Just as somebody who participates in it, who's a dope lyricist and has done so much in hip hop and has that accessibility to where he's willing to pull up on a stream like mine i appreciate you know him even being willing to do stuff like that so you know when we're doing hip-hop conversations he's one of the people i try to uh pull up you know what i mean but um 
But yeah, man, that, that was bad work. Yo, Lil B has this people. <laughs> like, the base god has been in rat beef. Waka Flocka, Gucci, man. <laughs> Look at all these people. Man, listen, J. Cole done went outside, man. J. Cole done went outside, you know, but um... Listen, man, I wasn't going to try to keep the stream too long. Just wanted to come through and, you know, speak on this topic real quick. But, um, you know, it, it, this was sad, man. I, the, the Cole, nah, you can't do this, bro. You can't do this. You you got to – I don't I don't know if – like, because I, I actually watched the full um video of the whole, you know, apology thing and, you know, everything he said. And I'm hoping that it's like, okay – I'm apologizing for the for the response being whack. Like I'm hoping that's what he means. And when he does the fall off, he actually tries to ether Kendrick Lamar. I'm hoping that's best case scenario for me. You understand? That's what I'm hoping for. But if not, then it's just like nah, man, nah. If if, if you ain't got no ether, what what nah I said on that song? You ain't got no ether for me, man, huh? Like you ain't got, you ain't got nothing with the peanut butter jelly bullshit going on. Like that's what you got. Like, nah, nah, Cole, Cole better lace up, man. Cole need to lace up. You feel what I'm saying? But, um, you know, appreciate all y'all tuning in. Definitely going to be doing this more often. Give y'all a little hours or so of my time. You know, see if I can keep this consistently going every night. And um, we just talking about whatever's going on in the culture. And um, I think tomorrow I'm probably going to want to talk about this easy card that just dropped this trenches car going down to Miami. You feel me? Shout out to um, easy is him and clips on there. Dot versus clean. You know what I mean? A couple of dope battles on there. So, you know, we definitely going to talk about that. And um, I appreciate y'all tuning in. You know what I mean? Make sure y'all subscribe. Turn on your notifications. Hit my like button. You feel me? And, um, yeah, we're going to keep on, you know, doing this, y'all. Y'all definitely, you know, get a lot more content from me going forward, you know, especially on these evenings. So, you know, just tune in. And um, I'll holler at y'all soon, man. No mercy. Trap New York shit. No mercy TV dot com. I'll holler at y'all soon. Uh, how you? Oh, okay. Sly usually ends the stream, so excuse me. Sometimes I forget. <laughs>